If y'all want to keep protesting, do that. But for the serious ones, the real ones, the alpha ones, we know what it's going to take. Those words coming from the man police say murdered three police officers in Baton Rouge. Three more are recovering, and one of them may not survive. Police believe the shooter, now known as former Marine Gavin Long, traveled from his home here in Kansas City to take matters into his own hands. 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plake is live outside his home in Kansas City, where we've seen plenty of police activity over the past 12 hours. Sarah. Yep, that's right, Patrick. It looks like just any other block right now, but police have the whole area taped off for hours on Sunday. Our crews and neighbors standing outside could only see the action from down the street. Police arrested a man inside the home where the Baton Rouge suspect Gavin Long lived. We asked that man before police got here if he knows Gavin Long, but that man only showed us a shotgun through the window. Police have not said what the connection is between Long and the people who lived inside the home. Now, this is usually a quiet neighborhood proving to residents here that you don't ever really know what your neighbors are thinking inside of their homes. They say this violence is not the way and it does not represent Kansas City. This is not representative of Kansas City. This is like any other area where you think you live next door to a good guy or something and that and that's not the truth. It's it's heartbreaking. It really is. I mean, officers, they have family members. They have loved ones, kids, mothers, their fathers first. <laughs> and, you know, to see that happen, my heart goes out to them. Truly, it does. Now, this is an ongoing investigation. Kansas City's FBI unit is working closely with Baton Rouge's investigators, but they are tight-lipped on what exactly they're trying to look for at this house and if they found anything at all. But if we have updates, stay with us online, online and on the air throughout the morning. In Kansas City, Missouri, Sarah Blake, 41 Action News.